Yeah, I would say so. Uh, being able to get down in the red zone, um, I think it was two times we ended up getting field goals, but really our, our, our first downs um, being better, so kind of the same, same thing we've been saying uh, in the red zone, not getting backed up early, uh, whether it was penalties or negative plays, but um, just starting fast and trying to get six um, and not three. Uh, I think that would definitely change the outcome of the game. Um, we were we were able to find a way uh, to get points in at the end, but uh, like I said, it's a consistent um, consistency thing we need to have all four quarters um, in every single game. Once you were in the red zone situation, you found yourself. What, what were the things, the takeaways from yesterday that, that y'all learned from? Um, Got to watch the film, but from what I remember, uh, it's just. Uh, getting on our guys, uh, being able to whether it was see pressure or um, just communicate um, and, and, and get on the guy, whether it's on the outside position. I just remember uh, one play in my memory was the, the tank run uh, to when he was able to knife through and get in the backfield. But, like, um, that, was, that was a play where it was the first down, getting backed up, and uh, if we could just not have negative plays. Um, Probably score touchdowns. You mentioned that uh, late fourth quarter drive. How important is that for CJ to have young quarterbacks to see that come to fruition and have that success? And for you guys to build on that as an offense. Yeah, uh, I feel like just CJ is a as a poised person and poised player and quarterback. Um, that moment wasn't big for him at all. Um, being able to get in the huddle and kind of anticipate and talk what their defense was going to be in and kind of communicate with Dalton and, and the other receivers in there and uh, it actually played out how, how we thought it would and he was able to find Dalton in the back of the end zone. Uh, I think it was super huge of just uh, of team chemistry and our team playing together, being able to trust each other and communicate and play for each other. I think that whole drive for the offense was just um, just believing in each other, playing for each other, and uh, never quitting and playing all four quarters. And um, just got to find a way to have that energy and consistency uh, in first quarter, second quarter, third, and fourth. How much do you think the passing game really benefited from uh, Larry and Larry being back on the team? Yeah, I think it uh, benefited very well. Um, still, still protecting CJ in the pocket, being able to um, deliver the ball well. Um, I think just just having them back in our huddle is, is very good, and our and our leadership and our guys, and we know what this offense um, can do when we have everybody um, and we're full powered. Um, we know that left side is our, our strong side, and then protecting CJ. You mentioned in the red zone that that was a few yards early, but that last drive was that first down. Uh, I think you guys had like second and thirteen, mm -hmm. third and nine. Touchdown, Schultz. What was that moment like? You kind of talked to Slug and Stroud. Yeah, um, I, f I forget who called a timeout, uh, if it was us or them, um, on the second or third down. But um, was I was I was liking the look. I felt like it would have been a good good play for um, what I had going on that play. But um, being able to call that timeout and kind of see what their defense is in and get the the best look for the play and. Um, Really, it was just just players being able to communicate, going to the sideline, talk with Slow, seeing what they were going to do, and then coming out and executing. Um, I feel like it was just just players and coaches being able to communicate and kind of what we say is just just draw something up on the field. When, when you guys have some struggles on offense, does it ever kind of build on itself a little bit? Where maybe a guy's you know, just one or two guys maybe trying to do a little bit too much or trying to make the perfect play instead of a good enough play. That's no, I don't think so. I think every all eleven guys are out there trying to do their job to their best ability. Um, I don't think they're trying to do more than what their um, like than their assignment. I think everybody is trying to execute the play to their full potential. Um, the the extra stuff comes after we're able to um, execute our assignment. Um, it just, I mean, it's good defense. Guys are moving around. Guys are, are rotating the safeties or, or rotating uh, down. Linebackers are, are, are bossing over. So guys have to just play with their eyes, and that's, and that's everybody from receivers, line, quarterback, running backs. Like, we're all in this uh, 
together and it's, it's this moving moving pieces that we're we're trying to block um and it's not easy as much as we would like to say it's just block the the x or the circle on the other side i mean guys are are, are making plays and we just got to execute the game plan and we know that they're going to try to make plays but we still have to do our job Yeah, uh, I've, I've been saying since since training camp and OTAs, kind of ever since I got here, this team is full of uh, route runners and receivers who can get open and separate. Xavier Hutchinson, John Mechie, um, I think um, Noah might be, be coming back, but these are re receivers who know how to create in space uh, and, and get open. So if Tank is down... Um, like like you said, we shouldn't it shouldn't be a drop off in our receiver room. Guys have a job to do and guys know how to get open and, and create their own space. Now, paraphrase a little bit. CJ mentioned they did some kind of some unique things on third down that maybe sometimes with play you guys had didn't have as many answers as, as typical. Did you kind of see something similar where they told sort of took away some stuff and maybe they didn't Yeah, I would say, yeah, that and uh, a little bit of just their what they did. They they what they did to us this past Sunday. They didn't show um, previously before. Um, they they had a specific game plan and try to get after our offense, and uh, it worked at times. But uh, ultimately, it, it worked enough for them to win the game. But they did some things that were that were different than that, sh that they showcased before on film. But um, it's nothing that like. We're we're not like not able to prepare for or able to to work on the sideline and make adjustments at halftime and like you're able to see our offense able to bounce back and get a scoring drive but it's just those things that a defense came out and and found what they thought was able to slow us down and and ended up working. Yeah, I would say just uh, his energy that he brings. Um, at practice, uh, he's a great, great coach uh, for our, our tight ends, and um, just a, just a high energy guy. He comes in um, on uh, Fridays, going over the red zone and what we can expect for him and our game plan. And uh, really, it's just um, just kind of seeing what their defense is going to be in. He gives us what they're going to be, uh, what they what they shown on film, and um, we go over it, slow installs, and, and we just try to hit their holes that they're showing. Thank you. Appreciate it.